What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I wanted to show you something that I just bought that I thought was kind of interesting. Uh, it's an earpiece, earphone for, you know, any kind of connected device, Bluetooth. But one of the things that I kind of actually was intrigued by uh, was the, the shape, which obviously looks like the Apple wireless earbud. Now, I will tell you, I didn't buy any of the wireless Apple earbuds, you know, they, they're particularly expensive, they're like a hundred bucks, because I thought they looked dumb. I thought they looked like uh, electric toothbrush heads kind of hanging in people's ears. I've seen a number of people roaming around with them, and I see them and I kind of think it still looks a little dumb. But one of the things that might uh, be interesting, and I'm just kind of looking at this one, is that, you know, the, the style is very similar. Looks like it actually might be a little shorter to me, you know, as I'm kind of rotating around here and kind of taking a peek at it. But, uh, one of the cool things about it is that the the wireless earbud from Apple, I think, actually has a really nice uh, shape for using it. And so one of the things that I've noticed is that my earbuds, kind of the ear pods, I guess they call them, you know, fit my ear really well. They kind of go in, they, they, they're comfortable, they don't fall out. I think the shape of them kind of means that they just sit in there. And then I was, I was thinking about it, like if you have your ear canal here and you're putting this in, you know, Earbuds kind of want to fall out, you're right? The gravity kind of wants them to fall out, but the, having this long arm hanging off means that as it's kind of falling down, this is kind of bracing it in, right? So if 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 you if you kind of think of this kind of wanting to twist like this in your ear, this is kind of holding it in. And so I, I'm actually kind of sold a little bit that as opposed to just having this top earbud and then you have like a little silicone flange or something like that holding it in or a loop going over your ear. This actually makes a lot of sense to me. So I thought, wow, without spending a lot of the money that Apple wants on theirs, could I get one that's similar, get that same effect, maybe be really comfortable, stay in my ear, and it worked pretty well. And what I really wanted to do is not just obviously have music playing in one ear, but I really wanted to be able to take calls. So I, I showed you um, a couple of uh, Bluetooth earbuds in the past, and while they are generally pretty good, uh, you know, you're not going to, they're, they're not really easy to throw in there uh, really quickly. Some of them you have to unfold, some of them you have to power on, and wasn't really excited about this. Now, I will tell you right off the bat, it only comes with this and this power cable, and as you can see, it's a USB power cable, and it's pretty unique. I was actually probably hoping that this would have, like, a micro USB connector, but it obviously doesn't. Looks like it plugs in the bottom, so keep that in mind, a proprietary cable to charge this thing up. We also have what looks like and feels like plastic that seems cheaper than apples. It's, it's you know, it's not quite that, you know, super glossy kind of heavy plastic finish. It does, doesn't feel like it feels like the cheaper plastic. You know what I'm talking about. It does have a similar like chrome bottom here. Uh, I think this is the microphone, this little hole right there. And I think this is the power button and then essentially, you know, your play pause or, um, hang up and answer. Uh, on some of these, I've noticed that this little earpiece thing will swivel, so it can be right or left ear. I I noticed that in the listing, you have to specify right or left, I think, so I picked up the right. I'm right-handed. I tend to like listening on my right ear for whatever reason, and so what I thought I'd do is kind of power this up, pair it to my phone, try it out. We'll also record a, a phone call just to see what kind of audio quality we're getting with the microphone here and you know just verify that it works so i'm just gonna hold this down let's see if we have a charge right out of the gate Ooh, look at that bright light um you can see it right through the plastic cheap plastic so let's pair it up and try it okay guys so i have it in here and i do have it paired up it was very easy it just shows up as i7 in your list and uh, i was listening to a little music i thought we would do the call together one thing i do want to say is it does fit it's kind of easy to throw in there but as soon as i put it in i am noticing right off the bat that it is bigger than the apple ear pod not a big deal you know especially if you have a bigger kind of ears and it doesn't it doesn't not fit but um, but it's just, you can tell it's bigger. And I think, I, you know, it's probably one of those things where uh, the way they package this thing, I don't know where the battery is or how big the microphone assembly or the speaker assembly, but it's probably just not as slick as the Apple ones, you know. But as you can see, you know, if I, if I had this paired and I get a call, I could quick throw it in there. Um, and I actually really do like that. Now, I will, sh you know, I was kind of looking and it is kind of touching my cheek there. So it is kind of, I guess, braced against my big chubby cheek, but, I feel like actually if this were the earbud, I don't feel like this is really doing as much as I kind of initially hoped it was. So I do have it in here. And uh, what I thought we would do is uh, go ahead and uh, try calling my voicemail and just leave a message and see how that goes. All right, guys. So, you know, the images you're going to see here isn't going to match up to the 
to the message that I'm recording. I actually call them my voicemail. I'm leaving this voicemail, um, you know, using this Bluetooth earpiece. And the one thing I'm going to tell you is that I, I've done a little bit of testing here, and I've never gotten the audio quality for particularly good. So the issue for me is that, you know, to really use this for a replacement for kind of those Bluetooth hands-free earpieces that I will usually use on a call, whether it's a Jawbone or Plantronics or, uh, you know, the Jabra that I recently got, you know, all of those things do a much better job. You know, this key thing is $15. You probably can't expect a lot from it. It does actually work for music, and the music sounds okay. It sounds pretty tinny. There's very, very little bass in it. But, you know, for um, you, having calls, you know, this microphone on here just tends not to work particularly well. So I'm not particularly impressed with it. But uh, if you want it for emergency or maybe taking that emergency call, certainly could do that. I'll put a link to the description. You can find out.